Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tosip Siddiqui and in this video we are going to make a gesture control car using Arduino. For that we will require two Arduino, one is for transmitter, one is for receiver, motor driver. Here I have L298N, you can use any other transmitter receiver. This is 344 megahertz transmitter receiver, MPU 6050, gyro sensor, few jumper wires, lithium ion battery. You will find all the links in the description to buy the components and even circuit diagram and the code. Let's start by connecting MPU6050 to Arduino. So here I have MPU6050. There are around 9 pins but we will be using only first 4 pins, VCC ground obviously to power the system and SCN and SDA. SCR stands for serial clock and SDA stands for serial data. SCR will go to A5, I mean to say A4 pin of Arduino and SDA will go to a 5 pin of Arduino. As you can see here, I have connected four male female jumper wires to MPU6050. Now let's connect SCL, that is a white wire, to A5 pin of Arduino. Analog A5 pin. Then the blue one, that is SCL to A4. Green to ground. And now, what I will do, I will just make 5 volt common on the breadboard so that I can connect transmitter as well as the MPO 6050 together. If you look closely on the transmitter, you will find that around 4 pins are coming out. They are named as first one is ANT, that is antenna, VDD, VDD stands for VCC also. That is a power pin. The middle one between ground and VDD is the data pin. This pin is used for signals, transmitting signals from uh, transmitter to receiver. And the last one is the ground one. So ground, data and VDD. These pins we are going to use and I am going to connect them to Arduino. And as you can see here I have connected for, uh, I mean to say, three male female jumper wires on the uh, transmitter. And now the green one that is a ground wire will go to ground the white wire that is the middle one which is also called as a data pin this will go to pin number 12 digital pin of the arduino right hand side and the red will go to the mini breadboard which i have made common uh, for 5 volt and the green wire i will connect to ground red wire i will connect it to the 5 volt pin and the white one that is the data one, data wire this i will connect to digital pin number 12 of the arduino now let's upload the code on the transmitter now i will upload the code for transmitter you will find the link to download the code in the description Now let's connect the receiver and just keep this aside. At the receiver side we will require receiver that is 344 megahertz, motor driver, Arduino and the breadboard and a chassis. So here I have three pin chassis. Now let's start connecting the receiver. And if you look closely, you will find that around 8 pins are coming out of the receiver. 4 on the left hand side and 4 on the right hand side. On the left hand side, you will see that it's written ground to data pins. One is 5 volt pin. And on the right hand side, it's written 5 volt to ground pins and ANT, that's the antenna pin. So we are not going to use the right hand side pins. We are only going to use the left hand side pin. Uh, ground will go to ground. From one wire from data will go to pin number 12 of Arduino that is uh, digital pin and the 5 volt will go to 5 volt and that is how we are going to connect the receiver to Arduino. 5 volt of receiver will go to 5 volt of Arduino. The black one that is ground wire will go to ground and the white wire, the data wire will go to pin number 12 of Arduino and this is how you connect the receiver. 
this is how you connect the receiver to Arduino. And now let's connect the motor driver. And to connect the motor driver, we will require four male-female jumper wires to uh, connect to the signal pins of the motor driver through which we will be controlling the motors. And we are going to connect the motors on the ports provided in the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the motor driver. It's also written as OUT1, OUT2, OUT3 and OUT4. And we are going to connect the battery here. Uh, it's written 12 volt and ground, so I'm going to use a 12 volt battery. So I'm going to connect it to 12 volt port. That's the first one, and the middle one. That's the ground. Here yeah, I have four male-female jumper wires. I'm going to connect them to in one, in two, in three, in four ports of the motor driver. So I have connected four male female jumper wires. I am going to connect them to Arduino. So the red one will go to pin number six. Second one that's the yellow one. In two will go to pin number seven. In three blue wire will go to pin number eight. In three grey wire will go to pin number nine. This is how you connect the signal pins of the motor driver to Arduino and now I will connect the wires uh, to connect the battery here I have two wires which I have connected together and soldered them this I am going to connect to motor driver and to battery so I will show you how it's done the red wire will go to 12 volt port and the black will go to ground And now one wire from the 12 volt port will go to V in pin of the Arduino that's voltage in pin and one wire from the ground pin will go to ground of the Arduino. And now this wire I am going to connect to battery and now let's connect the motors to motor driver. We are going to connect the motors to the ports provided on the motor driver on the left hand side and the right hand side. Now the next motor. And this is how you connect the motors to the motor driver. I will just place all the components inside the chassis so that all the components are fixed properly and they don't fall off while driving. So with this we are done with the connections. Now let's upload the code on the receiver side. Let's upload the code. You will find all the links in the description including the components to buy and code to download. And done uploading. Now let's drive the robot and see how it works. Yeah, I have 7.2 volt battery. Let's connect the wires coming out from the motor driver and let's see yeah all the components got powered let's see how it works
Thank you so much for watching the video and in the future I will be coming with more and more interesting videos. And if you like the video please do not forget to hit like and subscribe button. See you soon.